numismatics uh, is a study of coins broadly it encompasses coins banknotes tokens medals basically it's currency which was in circulation from ancient times to what is been circulating currently yeah there is a long history to coin collection there are records of various greek kings giving coins um, uh, special coins to their dignitaries and they themselves collecting in india also we have found evidences of coin collection in hoards but this has not been confirmed emperor jahangir and all the other mughal kings also used to mint special coins for dignitaries and present it to them so this has uh, majorly coin collection received a philip uh, during the renaissance period when the common man also started collecting coins from asia and the various conquered territories this is how coin collection developed over a period of time and now major, now coin collection is also an alternative form of investment coins basically tell you the history of your own country or a place coins also help researchers in uh, studying various excavation sites maybe you will not know what is the excavation site but if a coin is found then you can find tell with certainty that this this excavation site existed in this particular period and even coins have been used to study brahmi script brahmi script was a old indian script from where all other scripts have been uh, have developed coins was the only source where we, in uh, we could do research on what was the script during the olden days so coins have played a very important role in studying especially the history of india as there is no written records uh, of what happened maybe a thousand years back why is coin collecting exciting for me personally coin i was passionate about history so coins help me in connecting history and when you hold a coin maybe in school we used to learn, write essays on autobiography of coin so when you hold a coin you start relating where it has come from how many hands it must have passed through what 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 had happened with the coin so a common man handled this coin so that has been more exciting for me and i could connect history and coins more accurately student of economics also learns about uh, what is happening in the past 100 years maybe inflation and whatever what whatever is happening so then you come to realize that why is a old uh, smaller denomination coin going out of circulation and even up to 19 uh, 1940s up to the second world war silver coins were in circulation so now there is no silver coins this is because silver value uh, became so much that minting a silver coin became expensive whenever a coin comes into circulation the government has to make money so and even the gold standard if you have heard of it the uh, currency was linked to gold gold prices that has gone out from 19 uh, 1974 onwards so for all the economic student these things when you see the coins practically then you realize why it has been happen or happening this way because in the currency notes of olden days uh, the british india currency what we call it is written i promise to pay the bearer equivalent in gold now it is not written like that only the rbi is promising you that this is the value so then you realize why this has been happening the the value of the coin there is no particular association or something which decides the value of a coin basically it is a supply and demand uh, if there is a huge demand for a particular field of interest like like say mughal coins then the value of the coin shoots up uh, some coins which may be rare but they may not be popular then the value of the coin is not great basically what happened was i saw this uh, sword of tipu sultan serial so i i got interested in what to, who was he and i wanted coins on that the first coin i bought is was in mysore uh, which is my native and that's how it built up my interest in coins and my parents basically they supported me in coin collection and then i took it up as a hobby earlier days there was no internet so i used to meet people on the road side collect coins or friends used to give us give me coins 
then I started interacting with some people in my locality and the, then I started developing interest in a particular field and then uh, went to those places, started collecting coins. Earlier days, I also got fake coins. I was also cheated. But then I decided, okay, let me learn more so that I don't get cheated. So that's how I started taking a keen interest in this and even learned Arabic a Persian script so that I could read what was written on the coins. So this is how I developed the hobby. This was just a pure passion of uh, history and numismatics. I was always fascinated with history from a young age. So I thought, let me learn more about this. Then the joy of holding a coin which is many years old and minted by a particular king. So that's how I developed my interest in collecting these coins. Uh, my major collection is in Mysore coinage, which is Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. So I have gone into that seriously collecting all the coins which have been there um, as far as possible more into copper coins. So I have started doing research on that. I published some articles in some books. So that's how I have taken it up seriously, a particular field. The high as a collector was when I went abroad on a fellowship program and I could talk about my subject in a major museum abroad in front of various serious collectors and which was well received and appreciated. When one starts collecting coins, don't spend a lot of money. Maybe what coin is in current circulation, start collecting them, then slowly start Reading on coin collecting on the internet, internet has been a major source for this information. Every state and every major city has a numismatic society. Join them, talk to people, uh, elders will definitely help you in collecting coins. Ex uh, start interacting with your friends, maybe exchange uh, simple coins, foreign coins or something. And once you get, once you decide that I will collect coins of this period, then maybe you start buying books of those uh, catalogs available for each dynasty or each time frame. And then you can take it up professionally and uh, invest money in them.